Good evening. This is Patty Whalen. I am the GT coordinator for Lake Worth ISD. Tonight, I wanted to just share with you uh, a little more information about GT. Uh, it is a service that we provide within the classroom for our students. If you'll take just a minute, uh, Lake Worth ISD has a virtual etiquette. They just want to remind everyone that uh, to be courteous, uh, be understanding because, you know, being live is a process. And use the chat feature if you have questions. The first is, is my child gifted? Okay, when we think about a gifted child, we're talking about children that learn very quickly. The average child learns after a reputation of three to four times, but we find that gifted children learn quickly after seeing or hearing it one to two times. They like new things and they have usually a large vocabulary and they have lots of questions. And lots of times it'll be questions that are above the usual age of, that they are. The next one is create, being creative. Being creative or inventive, like your child likes to build with Legos. Um, they like to do art and draw and are very good with that. Uh, they like to uh, write stories and use their imagination. They kind of think outside the box and they're very, very curious. And the third is that they like challenges. Challenges are like doing Sudoku puzzles or word puzzles or doing experiments or just trying things that they've never tried before. What are GT services? GT trained classroom teachers. Uh, we have our teachers take region 11 training of 30 hours so that they have a good understanding of how to serve our GT students in their classrooms. And every year they do an update. Another thing we do is make sure that the GT students are placed with their peers. In other words, uh, they'll be in in the same classroom with other GT students so that they can challenge one another, uh, work together, bounce ideas off of each other and build friendships. And the third is providing opportunities to explore own interest. We want to encourage them to really pursue what they're interested in. Maybe your child is really strong in math and science and want to pursue doing other things and learning other interests outside of school and may not be that strong in reading. Uh, so we would help provide that opportunity for your GT student. How is my child referred? There are three ways. The first is teacher. Again, the teachers are trained through Region 11 and this gives them the information on what to look for in the classroom. Uh, they can refer a child in their classroom or maybe they've observed a child in someone else's classroom. Another way is parent or guardians. Uh, you may be seeing uh, characteristics at home that maybe the teacher is not seeing in the classroom because of maybe your child is quiet and shy but does a, their work but really doesn't step out of the box in front of his classmates. And the third one is through community leader. The community leader is possibly someone from church, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, YMCA, where there's opportunities to learn and to provide leadership. And they too can refer a child for GT testing. Now remember, gifted does not mean they are an excellent student all the time. It means that they just think out of the box and 
need the challenge in different ways or need the material presented to them in a different way. They may be very strong and struggle in, in a subject. If they're strong in math and they may not be as strong as in reading, and this is normal. They may have a passion of, of something that they just kind of think about and want to learn about or do all the time. For example, uh, Legos, building with Legos or researching uh, and reading about uh, the ocean and all the animals and so forth that live out there. And usually they like to be around adults because adults can challenge them in conversation. It's sometimes hard for them to be able to uh, visit with their peers because they think differently. They think about different things. So sometimes that's an area that uh, can be addressed as well through the GT program. When are GT referrals accepted? This school year referral period is now closed. We've just finished uh, with that and won't be taking referrals until fall of next year. And to be able to refer to your child, um, you will need to fill out a referral or the teacher needs to fill out a referral paper and it needs to be returned to the school before December 1st. Um, the school year will have that open from August 11th through December 1st of next school year. You can also find the paperwork online or you can contact your campus counselor or contact me. If you do have questions about GT that I have not covered, please feel free to contact me. Uh, you can reach me at my email address. Uh, your campus counselor often can help you when it comes to referrals and testing information they're your person that you, you could ask those questions. If you have questions that uh, are about another part of GT, please feel free to email me. And I thank you for taking the time to join us tonight and have a good evening. <laughs>